to carry on on the discussion of the VSEPR model or prediction of lower structures and therefore orbital shapes or molecular shapes. This time we take another case where the number of electron pairs is four. So it's the VS again, the VS EPR model. It's a four electron pair case. But this case is actually different from the one that we have uh, discussed before. Not all electron pairs are bonding. So let's say three bonding, one non-bonding. And a typical example in this case would be ammonia. So this is ammonia. This is the formula of ammonia where nitrogen makes three bonds with the surrounding hydrogen atoms. And again, in order to um, draw a possible lower structure, we need first to calculate the total number of, of valence electrons. And the total number of valence electrons would be five from nitrogen. Remember, nitrogen is located in group 5A, so five valence electrons, plus one from each of these hydrogen atoms, so the total will be, will be eight electrons. Eight electrons, if you divide that eight number by two, you get the number of electron pairs that should be present in a possible lower structure of this, of ammonia. So if we divide eight by two, we get four electron, electron um, pairs. Now to draw a lower structure, we always draw the, the central atom, which is nitrogen. Okay, so that's nitrogen. And this the surrounding hydrogen atoms, so that's one, that's two, and that's three. The next step is to draw a, a line, a bond basically, between the central atom and the surrounding hydrogen atoms. So that's one, two, three. And if you calculate the number of valence electrons so far used in this structure, you would find that there are actually six, but we had eight. So we have two to go. If you look at hydrogen, it has obeyed the Dewitt rule because each of these hydrogen atoms are surrounded by two electrons. So that's according to valency rules. In this case, of course, specifically according to the Dewitt rule. But if you look at the central nitrogen atom, you will see that it's only surrounded by six electrons. And that's not satisfactory because we know that nitrogen is in period two. It should obey the octet rule. In other words, it should be surrounded by eight electrons. So there are now six. That additional pair should be in the form of a lone pair. So that's the lone pair. And this is now good satisfactory because nitrogen is now surrounded by eight electrons. If you calculate, again, the number of valence electrons in this, in this structure, you would find two and two and two. That's six plus two, that's eight. And we had eight before, so that's good. If you look at the electron pairs that we had before, we had four, and now we have one, two, three, and a lone pair, so that's four. So this is also um, reasonable. What we, need, what we need to look at right now is the orbital shape or the overall arrangement of electron pairs followed by a prediction of molecular shape accordingly taking into account the lone pairs. So let's um, try to predict the arrangement of electron pairs and since there are four of them so the orbital shape just like methane is actually tetrahedral the arrangement of electron pairs in this case of, of ammonia or the orbital shape is also tetrahedral so let's write that down so that's tetrahedral but the molecular shape, however, okay, may not be tetrahedral because now there is a lone pair. So we can actually represent that by taking one of these bonds off. Now, so that's basically like the lone pair. If you look at this molecular shape, you will find out it's, it's no more tetrahedral. If you look at this shape, it's like the shape of a pyramid, okay, but triangular. So this is triangular pyramidal or trigonal. Parameter. So the molecular shape 
in this case of, of ammonia, and in all cases when there are four electron pairs and one of them is, is a lone pair, is trigonal pyramidal. So the molecular shape is trigonal pyramidal or triangular pyramidal. Now, what about bond angles? Well, clearly, bond angles will not be exactly 109.5, and that's because of the presence of a lone pair. Now, lone pairs occupy space. And remember, this model, the VSEPR model, is based on minimization of um, electron pair repulsions. We are talking about bonding, bonding repulsions, bonding, non bonding repulsions, and non bonding, non bonding repulsions. Now, that lone pair around the central nitrogen atom occupies space and because of that the bonds each of these um, nitrogen ha uh, hydrogen uh, bonds will try to squeeze a little they will shrink a little if you like okay therefore the bond angle in the case of, of, of ammonia will actually be less than 109.5 it is found exactly in fact experimentally to be 107 so the bond angle scientifically or uh, accurately represented to be less than 109.5 and that's to account for the lone pair that lone pair which occupies space and the idea is to minimize electron pair repulsions now to, to conclude ammonia is an example of electron pair case where three of them are bonding one of them is non-bonding the orbital shape or the arrangement of electron pairs is tetrahedral whereas the molecular shape is uh, trigonal pyramidal. The bond angle in the case of ammonia is scientifically represented as to be one, uh, less than 109.5 and that's because of the presence of a lone pair.